Meet Mike Macy. Mike hates his job. Mike hates paper. He hates pickles. He hates cats. He hates when people use hashtags on Facebook. He hates his daily commute, among other things. For all intents and purposes, you could say dear Michael is in a rut. With every passing moment, it becomes apparent that he needs a change. A complete departure from the status quo. Currently, two things are preventing Mike from a complete downward spiral. His girlfriend, who he calls the one, and his love for dogfish head beer. Let's make that one thing. And did I mention Mike hates cats? Tammy's recent redesign of the apartment seems to match Mike's post-collegiate personality. Bland, empty, vanilla, quiet, sterile. We'll spare you some of the more unsavory adjectives. Every day Mike clings to the little things that make him happy. Today being the cheesiest cheese curl he's seen since 94. While Mike reaches for that first IPA, he reflects on his youth and that unquenchable thirst for more. Things rarely come easy for Mike Macy. A man of few words, Mike adheres to his nightly routine, which begins by paying homage to his favorite founders and how their contributions have shaped not only their communities, but society as a whole. From here, Mike will enjoy reruns of Dragnet. Alone now, he ponders how he too can cause an impact, but how? Tonight he slouches and slumbers with one goal in mind, and the words of a legendary founder and personal hero ringing in his ears. Writing that business plan, create a niche. I reeked of risk when I walked in to talk to banks. I was 24 years old or 25. Work was with an artistic eye. Jump rope, self-expression and creative expression, focus my energy on the stuff that I am good at. MacGyver to make more production friendly, way in front of where the trends are, and boom, boom. Keeping the rhythm, attract people, talented people. Passion for money is not gonna get you anywhere. It's gonna be passion for the work. Inspired, he takes that daunting first step. Fear not, friends. This is a tale of triumph. After all, Mike Macy was never the type to take it lying down. No, not Mike Macy. Since Tammy left Mittens and headed back to the Windy City, Mike has changed. A shell of his former self, Mike now embraces his daily commute. He sees the beauty in paper. He loves his new girlfriend. He now loves pickles. He still hates mittens, but he'll be the first to admit his day job has gotten drastically better. In the end, it was a thirst for more, satisfied by dogfish head beer, that raised the bar for Mike Macy. Cheers to off-centered founders everywhere. Go make something. Make more things. <laughs>